What's up everyone? So if you are new to the channel, my name is Christopher and I talk a lot about business and saving money and just money in general. So if any of that stuff interests you, definitely go check out my other videos on my channel and hopefully I can help you out in some way, shape or form. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about earning $1,000 in 30 days with a business called Windshield Repair. So if you don't know, I created a business that basically repairs those rock chips that everyone gets on their windshield and charge a small service fee to do so. Uh, basically, the whole purpose of repairing a rock chip is to prevent your client from having to replace their whole entire windshield uh, if that chip were to crack out. And in this video, I wanted to explain to you how you can actually do windshield repair and earn a little bit of money on the side. So without further ado, let's go ahead, hop on my computer, and I'll show you guys the roadmap. Okay, so like I said, I created a little roadmap on how you can earn $1,000 in 30 days with Rock Chip Repair as a side hustle. So obviously, like any business, you got to invest a little bit into it, right? Whether that's time or money or whatever the case may be, you got to invest a little bit into your business. So the initial investment is obviously going to be a kit. So the kit that I usually refer people to is about $450, has all the tools that you need to do it, um, basically everything you need to start practicing and actually start making money. Uh, you also have to get the training. So I would recommend getting the proper training on how to do windshield repair. Uh, you can obviously do this by yourself. You can learn it on YouTube. You can learn it however you can learn things. But I would definitely recommend getting some proper training because you're going to be working on people's cars and you should be the professional in this business if you're going to charge for it. So the initial investment is going to be a kit. So you're going to have to buy the tools and the training if need be. So the way I have this laid out is a 30 day uh, time frame, which would equate to obviously four weekends and eight days total. So you got 30 days, a full month. You got four weekends in, uh, in a month uh, usually. And then we have two days each weekend. So we got about eight days total to work on our side hustle, right? So I'm basing this off of if you work a 40 hour work week, Monday through Friday, and uh, you only have the weekends to actually work on your side hustle. This is a good uh, little route to take. So we have four weekends, eight days total to do repairs. So for example's sake, let's say you charge $50 per repair. Uh, $50 per repair is very, very cheap. It's uh, I charge about double that now. So $50 per repair is, is very conservative. Um, but when you're first starting out, you want to be competitive with the other people, right? So let's just say $50 per repair and just to make it easy. So we do $50 per repair times five per weekend that would equate to about two and a half repairs uh, a day for eight days. So we got five repairs per weekend at $50 per repair. That is going to be two and a half repairs a day, more or less. So let's say you do three on Saturday and then two on Sunday, or you do two on Saturday, three on Sunday, or you do five on Saturday, whatever the case may be. But you're going to do about two and a half repairs a day for eight days. So that's going to equate to $250 per weekend at the lowest rate. So again, $50 per repair, you do five repairs, that's $250 for one weekend. Now we do that four times throughout the month. So we have four weekends, we make $250 each weekend, that equates to $1,000, our goal, right? So $1,000 per month on the side. It might seem like that's a lot of repairs to do each weekend, but it's really not. If you have the whole week to actually market your business, show people what you do, explain what you do to people, and you set up your, your repairs for the weekend, it's really not that many uh, repairs to do. Again, these repairs only take about 30 minutes to do each car or each chip. So if you're doing five per weekend, what is that, about two and a half hours worth of work uh, per weekend, and you're making $250 on the side. So again, this is a great side hustle opportunity. Um, if you did want to actually branch off and do this full time, it is a great business to, to start, um, if, especially if you're just getting started into business or you want to actually leave your day job and, and do something different. But again, on the side, as a side hustle, it's a great opportunity to actually make some money. So you obviously see the potential with making money with windshield repair. You can see that you know you can make $250 a weekend uh, fairly easy with not that many customers to find, but you're probably wondering, how do I find customers, right? How am I going to uh, market my business and actually get these customers and actually get them to pay me money, right? So I put down a few ways that I like to market my business uh, completely for free 
and uh, I've seen that work really, really well. So right here, market windshield repair uh, during the week for free for five days. So like I said, we're doing this on the weekends, right? So you have about five days, Monday through Friday, to actually market your business and show people what you do. During those five days, we're gonna market out to friends, uh, friends and family. So that was one of the biggest ones that I did when I first started. I showed people what I was doing. I showed my direct, um, my direct audience basically. So my friends, my, my family, everybody that I knew, I showed them what I was doing and what I was up to, the business that I was starting. They had no, no trouble uh, supporting my business because you know, again, these are friends and family, right? Um, Again, if you just talk to your friends, talk to your family, I'm sure you're gonna find people that have rock chips in their windshields and they need them repaired. And again, the whole reason for windshield repair is to prevent that chip from cracking out. So if you can explain to them that if that chip were to crack out, then they would most likely have to replace their whole entire windshield. Uh, they know that they're gonna have to spend a lot of money on that windshield. Nowadays, windshields can cost anywhere from $300 on the low end to $4,000 on the high end on some of these vehicles that have a lot of the uh, technology going through the windshield. So again, you're saving people a lot of money and you're getting paid a pretty hefty uh, little service fee to, uh, just to do the service. So another one is social media pages. So making your, your business known, right? You, you get on social media, you get on Instagram, you get on Facebook, you get on um, even Yelp, stuff like that. Show people that you have a business, show people what you do, and uh, it's gonna be pretty easy to find, find clients and actually uh, make some money with this. Parking lots. This is actually one of my favorites. I like to go into mall parking lots, maybe on a weekend or even during the week, and just walk through the parking lot and, and just look at windshields and see if they have rock chips on there. If they do, leave a business card on their windshield or, or on their door and just hope that they give you a call, right? A lot, of, uh, a lot of these people do know that if, if that chip doesn't get repaired, it's gonna crack out. It's just people don't necessarily go out looking for somebody to repair it, right? So if you can get in front of their face and show them, I have a business that can repair your problem that you have, um, they're most likely gonna call you. I like to even put a little quote on there. So if you're charging $50, put on the back of the card, $50 um, estimate. Uh, people are gonna see that and they're probably not gonna have any issue paying you $50 to repair it. So this is a really good way to actually find clients. Another one is Facebook groups. So going onto Facebook and just going to your local groups. So I have a lot of local groups in my area uh, where people sell things and, and trade and stuff like that. So go into these, uh, these Facebook groups and just kind of make yourself known. Show them what you do. Um, and I'm sure a lot of these people in these Facebook groups have uh, the problem that you can fix. So uh, go in these Facebook groups and, and just let people know what you do and, and who you are. Now, another one is car dealerships. So a lot of these car dealerships get a lot of used cars in. So they buy cars from people or they go to auctions and buy them. And in most cases, they do have a rock chip in those windshields. Now, if these dealerships put the car on the lot and try to sell it with a rock chip, um, maybe directly in, in the uh, driver's site or whatever, uh, when people come and want to buy that car and they see that, they're probably going to get haggled on it and they're, they're probably going to be like, get steered away from buying that car. So a lot of times these dealerships will have no problem hiring you to repair these rock chips for them at a service fee that you charge. And uh, they would rather you know you repair it just to make it look better and uh, repair it to make sure that they don't have to replace the whole entire windshield. And obviously I could keep on going with this. Uh, there's a lot of creative ways to actually find clients for windshield repair. Um, I like to say if there's cars on the road and there's people driving, then people are going to get these rock chips. So it really shouldn't be that hard to find clients uh, to pay you for a service that you provide to uh, fix their problem, right? Uh, that's the biggest thing in business. You gotta fix a problem and um, you should have no, no issue getting paid for that. So that's a roadmap of how to earn $1,000 in 30 days with rock chip repair. Now again, rock chip repair isn't the most well-known business but that's also a good thing because the competition out there isn't that, uh, that fierce. So if you can actually get started in your area doing this and you become the, the person that's known for rock chip repair, there's a lot of potential to earn a lot of money. So like I said, get your kit, get the proper training. If you do want some training, I do have a link down below in the, in the description where you can uh, go to check out a free training that I've provided for you. Um, I'm not selling you anything in the training or anything, but you can just watch it, get a better understanding on what the business is and uh, how you can earn some money with this business. So go ahead, check that link out below and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.